There's antimony, arsenic, nickel, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and uranium, and nickel, neodymium, neptunium, germanium, and iron, and marisium, methanium, and uranium, and europium, and zirconium, and tesium, vanadium, and anthonium, and osmium, and acetine, and radium, and gold, bretonium, and indium, and gallium, and iodine, and thorium, and thurium, and thallium. There's yttrium, yttrium, and actinium, and rubidium, boron, gadolinium, niobium, and iridium, and stronicon, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, bismuth, bromine, lithium, beryllium, and barium. There's homium and helium and hafnium and erbium, phosphorus and francium and fluorine and tubinium, manganese and mercury, molybdenum and magnesium, dysprosium and scandium and cerium and cesium, lead, prasodymium, platinum and plutonium, palladium, promethium, potassium, bologna, and tantalus and titanium, tellurium, and cadmium, calcium, and chromium, and curium. There's sulfur, californium, fermium, bacillium, and also mendelinium, and starlin, and nobilium, and argon, neum, and zinc, and zinc, and rhodium, and corin, copper, 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 tungsten, and sodium. These are the only ones which the news has come to Harvard, and there may be many of us, but they haven't been discovered.